Here we are. I am opening up the box for the Firefly FF338, which is uh, from guitarsgarden.com, uh, which I believe is the only website that sells them from the company. And I think maybe Guitars Garden and Firefly might be the same company. Um, either way, this is a beautiful guitar that I saw on their website. They're almost sold out of everything. I've always wanted a 338. I, I love spalted maple tops. I love just being able to see the wood in general. And... Um, I've never seen one other than just like a kit guitar that uh, was spalted maple, and so I saw that I snatched it up, and it's so cheap at less than two hundred dollars door to door. Anyway, I love the look of the spalted maple. I love the heavily figured wood. It's just like a light autumn cherry kind of burst there. And otherwise they really just let the wood kind of show through. And if you're a big wood fan like I am, you appreciate that. And we'll do a wide shot here. A little bit of glare on that shot, so. No color correction here. It's a rosewood fretboard, which uh, needs some oil to be conditioned, the frets do as well, they need to be crowned. Um, so obviously this is a certificate of quality. English is not their first language and we're not judging at all, but it, they do have some funny um, turns of phrase in their uh, email and on their website. And the other side of this card is this, tips. Please don't put the guitar in the direct sunlight places. Next to local high temperature machine, outdoor temperature, extremely low or high humidity, humid places, such as the basement, dusty places and vibration prone places, all of the above will cause different degrees of damage to the guitar. Best wishes, sign nobody. So, you know, we're not making fun. It's, it's uh, a little bit funny to read that. And they very kindly send you a chord and an Allen key and some picks. But really what it is is just the guitar. Um, beautifully finished guitar. And I was pleasantly surprised by the pickups, which we'll hear here in a sec, uh, with a tone demonstration, and then afterwards I'll give you guys my review, but there's the binding there on the neck, and it's a really, really well put together, you know, cheap guitar, but but absolutely professionally put together. That's just stuff, packing stuff there. But up, just so you guys get the idea here, we're gonna show you um, what it looks like behind the green screen, so there's no lighting effects at all, it's just really that color, and if you're a big fan of spalted maple of wood like I am, um, hopefully you enjoy this. All right, so we're going to do some tones.
Oh, hey, how you doing? Didn't see you come in. <laughs> Apologies, I'm not gonna, never gonna do that again. Uh, how you guys doing? This is my beautiful, brand new Firefly FF38, or 338, excuse me, in spalted maple top. Holy God. I'm a giant spalted maple person. I don't know if you are. Not everybody is a spalted maple person. I, I'm finding this out the hard way. Uh, I went to the Guitars Garden website, which is where I got this guitar. I believe it is the same company as Firefly itself. I'm not sure, but it seems to be the only place outside of Amazon or Reverb that you can actually find these. Um, they're sold out of everything. All their um, T-style guitars seem to be gone. Most of their 335 uh, styles, which is what this is, an ES-335 copy, um, are gone except for, I believe, like blue, brown, and spalted maple. And I was really happy because I think spalted maple is the greatest thing that ever happened. Um, I've done kit guitars in spalted maple. Spalted maple is a process that happens to maple, uh, fungus. Uh, it, it's a, basically a process of decay. I guess fungus gets into the actual grains of wood and causes these dark lines to occur. And people think it's dangerous and bad for you, but apparently they're discovering it's not as bad for you as they once thought, at least to woodworkers. Um, it's not dangerous to anybody who, you know, once it's under... Uh, once it's sealed, it can't hurt you. This is not gonna harm you, I promise. Well, I don't promise. Don't take, I don't know anything. Excuse me. My, it, it probably isn't gonna hurt you because it's my guitar, but your guitars might hurt you. Um, that said, okay, so I bought this guitar for $200. You heard me, $200 door to door from China, where their factory is, um, in less than a week. I don't know how they do it. And, I'm, and I also just want to make something extraordinarily clear. I understand that this is not fair to American companies or to other companies that just cannot compete with the pricing because their labor costs are so incredibly low. This is not a political discussion. I will never tell anybody what to think. Um, but it is certainly something to take into consideration if it's something you're concerned about. Okay, anyway. Uh, disclaimer over. This guitar is much more valuable than $200. Um, there are some slight little things wrong with it um, that I am discovering. Just like little things, uh, just um, in terms of the paint job. Every now and then there's just like a little bit of a, they creep over, over a line over here. Not a lot, but just a little bit, you know, just here by the nut and maybe a little bit um, up here in the binding over here. And, you know, and it's not a huge deal, but there are, if you're a perfectionist, it might be something you notice. Um, these are undisclosed humbuckers. They are good. They are non-microphonic humbuckers on extraordinarily cheap guitars, usually under $200. You're going to get microphonic style humbuckers or pickups or whatever. Um, these are not. These are really pretty good, especially for their price. Um, Three-way switch, basic uh, volume, volume, tone, tone. It is not a, you can't split anything. Um, I am thinking about rewiring it because it is just such a gorgeous top. Like the, the idea was to get this guitar and then to strip it completely and just use this top to turn it into the greatest 335 anybody's ever played. And I still intend to do that and I will do a video on that when I do. But I've just been having a lot of fun just playing this guitar right out of the box before uh, doing anything to it really drastic. Um, the, the frets uh, really need to be smoothed over and crowned. Um, this is a bone nut here. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, the tuning machines are horrendous. I'm gonna have to change those. It, it's been staying in tune actually the last 24 hours. So yesterday when I was trying to tune it up, these things were just being impossible to work with. So um, I'm glad to see that they're now holding its tune pretty well. Still gonna replace them because anytime you're dealing with a Gibson neck, you're dealing with the, I've talked about it in other videos, but you get a lot more friction through the nut there, um, and I'm gonna wanna compensate on that. You know, Whenever you're dealing with Gibson style uh, products, you're always dealing with beauty, I think, before form. And that's, uh, I'll do a video on that. You can argue, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. But other than those little things, you know, the switch feels good. Like, there, there are definitely some spaces on the neck. Like, the neck, um, this is a rosewood fingerboard. It needs to be, I think I'm going to definitely throw a couple coats of um, conditioning oil on there. I'm going to crown the frets, going to make everything feel nice. It's not awful, but it's definitely noticeable. This is not a guitar that you could just take right to a gig right out of the box, even though I know that's 
the types of guitars I've been getting recently and things that I know more and more people are going to be expecting from brand new guitars. I could see this guitar going for like $500, $600 and people buying it. Um, I think I saw them on Reverb and stuff for like around 300 So if you can get over to that Guitars Garden site and you, you know, and, and, and the affordability is most important to you and, and you don't want to, you know, because I know Gibson right now are doing some beautiful things. If you don't want to buy an actual Gibson or an actual Epiphone, I have another video that I'll link right here too of an unboxing of an Epiphone um, and magic. Okay, so this is the... Epiphone ES339, here's a 335, here's the size difference, here's the size comparison, okay? Similar build, slightly different, slightly different things. This neck is a little bit uh, bigger than this neck is, a little bit broader, I believe. Anyway, this there's a whole, there's a whole uh, video on that Epiphone that, again, I will put right here for you guys to check out, but for $200. This guitar is extremely worth it, and um, I intend to have a lot of fun souping this guy up. I'll do another video when I have, and we'll, we can listen to the comparisons. Then, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 7.7, .7, which is very good. Um, it's a really good guitar, especially if you want to get a really cool gift for somebody. It's, it's kind of pretty perfect because you're not going to be out of a lot of money if they don't end up taking up guitar for a long time. You know, it is the guitar boom right now, so Fender and Gibson, everybody is doing really, really well. And that's great, congratulations to everybody. So I understand if you wanna go with, like I do, end up going with the knockoff versions. And um, this is a really, really, really good one. These people are not scam artists. This is a good guitar and I'm enjoying playing it. And if you get it for somebody as a gift, if you get it for yourself, you will not, at least in my experience with this guitar, you will not be disappointed. Thank you for checking out this review. Check out my channel for other reviews, for backing tracks if you're a guitarist or a musician of any kind, uh, funny things, songs, all things related to music. Um, it's a wonderful channel. Uh, <laughs> until next time.